The Doctor Who Took My Life, Thank You, a poem promoting patient advocacy by Laura Godavich. I came to you in a time of despair. My body was failing and weakened by fear. To treat the frail and ill, I believed you would be the answer to my desperate plea. You were supposed to be my white knight, a demigod of knowledge, bound by an oath of compassion and a higher purpose. I held you to your promised care. To question you, I did not dare. For who was I to question a superhuman such as you, one with golden credentials, bestowing upon you the right to demand my obedience, as I was privileged just to be in your sight? As you turned from your computer, ready to acknowledge I was there, you directed your terms to my father. In a pompous manner you spoke. Now, sir, do you remember the rules? You asked with a poke. Do you speak or do you not speak? You had the right you assumed. To patronize this soft-spoken grown man, a father riddled with fear as he was left spectator of the war causing his precious daughter to disappear. Your lack of human compassion left me dumbfounded and guarded. My trust in miracle workers shaken and faith irreversibly shattered. How would I regain life if I continued to be treated by a coward? Scared were you to say you didn't know the cause of the war in my system, a battle continuing to grow. Your ego wouldn't allow you to see me for who I was, a terrified human unknowing of what to do. Hoping for a lifeline, I held my tongue. I thought at the time, even a terrible doctor like you was better than getting back on the waiting queue, as you were the gatekeeper, and I was unsure of what to do. I tried not to allow you to affect me, but you preyed on my weakness and won. I started to second guess myself. Maybe I just wanted a break. Maybe this was in my head. My ailment most certainly was fake. As I started to doubt myself, my self-confidence dissolved. Your words and matter confused me. You saw me as lazy and dramatic. It was as clear as could be. The situation began to make me panic. What you thought of me mattered, so I forced myself out of the wheelchair. Through your pearly gates of heaven, my father maneuvered my body lifeless, without fuel. It was difficult and embarrassing, but at least I would avoid your ridicule. As for now, please do all you can do. I know my body is rebelling. Please protect me from the fall. I have two babies missing their mother, young and needing my care. I have parents scared for their daughter. My husband is doing all he can to keep up with this hefty demand. The bearer of the heavy burden, it's too much for one person to stand. Please help me to find the answer. Be my seeker, my savior, be my doctor. I followed your plan of action, rest, sugar pills, and ride on a bike. Stationary, he sarcastically joked. I did not find the humor in your demeanor. I'm not sure if you've noticed I'm withering away but maybe I'll find you funny on a future day. I understand the results of the test. The very few you begrudgingly ordered are not coming back to warrant your exalted attention. They only confirm what you already assume to be true. My symptoms are imaginary. I must just be blue. Oh wait, what's this? New findings and results? They validate my symptoms? You can now confirm what I'm feeling is real? Well, thank you, kind sir, for deeming me mentally stable. Now, can we please lay the plan out on the table? Hold on, I want to make sure I have this right. You still will not help me, but you won't hesitate to take your fee. Okay, I'll take it from here. I will allow my rage to fuel my drive. I will be the one to ensure I stay alive. Your type of healing did me no good. 
I have come to realize your superpowers are an illusion. The way you spoke to me broke me down. I allowed you to take the reins. I cowered and didn't dare push you for action. My recovery was impacted due to my precaution. Six years have now passed. I am starting my life again. The trauma of the years of torture is melding. Although I often wonder, had you treated me like a human, would I have had the upper hand? Would I have missed all those birthdays, the milestones and celebrations? Would I have had so many serious complications? Would I lay in bed at night praying my legs will sleep? Would I have had more of my life to keep? Maybe, maybe not. There's no turning back time. All we can do is move forward, just step through the starting line. Each experience is a gift in the form of a lesson. Knowledge and understanding is a very true blessing. You have stoked the fire that burns within, so now I am on a mission to prevent people from being destroyed by false healers such as you. So thank you, doctor. Thank you. My purpose has been renewed.